Well, even though millions of Americans start working out so they can lose weight or get healthier, many don't reach their goals and injury is a big factor. With us this morning to go over some common injuries is our fitness expert, Wes Cole. Good morning. Morning. Uh, yeah, this puts a little halt on uh, working out when you get hurt. It does, and some of these injuries are not major, but they can really sneak up on you. I'm going to show you how you can avoid them. Okay, the first one, muscle imbalances. Like I said, this is not something that you see right off the bat, but it can really sneak up on you. The problem is, as we've talked about this before, people, especially men out there, they mm -hmm. like to really focus on the, the what I like to call the mirror muscles, you mm -hmm. know, the, the chest and the abs. What they forget, though, is you've got a whole posterior side of musculature that if you only focus on one, you're going to cause major imbalances to the shoulder girdle. Sure. For example, the way I eliminate this when I'm training with clients, Beth, coming out here and just try a push-up. Anytime you do a pressing motion, say you do a, a horizontal press like a push-up, mm -hmm. follow it right up with a horizontal pull. So, Beth, come on up and just go right into a row. But that way, you're working both sides of the shoulder, and you're going to make sure you don't get a muscular imbalance. Thank you, okay. Beth. And, and I like also, also like to tell a lot of my clients, too, if you can you know, press 50 or 60 pounds with mm -hmm. a dumbbell press, but you can only pull 20 or 30, then you need to kind of play catch up and let, your, let the musculature kind of balance yeah, out a little behind. bit. And, but you know, it can sneak up on you, so be careful and watch that. Okay, the next one is improper cardio. You know, I see this a lot, especially with clients that are kind of new to fitness. Mm -hmm. um, some of the biggest injuries I've seen, especially to the ankles and the knees, are people picking improper cardio, especially if they're a good 50 or 60 pounds overweight. If you're pretty overweight, starting a high-intensity jogging or running program, it might not be the best thing. You might want to kind of focus on your diet for a little while, mm -hmm. focus on more low-impact stuff like water aerobics, cycling, maybe getting on the elliptical to kind of get some of that right. weight down. If you love running, you can do it, but sign up with a running, um, you know, maybe a running group, get uh -huh. some good footwear, and ease into it. There's a myth that cardio it's, it's very safe compared to weight training, but it's, it hasn't been my experience. I've seen just as many people hurt themselves running or even getting on a treadmill and kind of losing their mm -hmm. balance. So just be aware. Be aware that injuries can happen in both, and you'll okay. be all right. Okay, and the next one is be careful stretching because we're always told to stretch, stretch, stretch. Absolutely. Well, I went over this segment. I had so many yeah. questions. Um, stretching, traditional stretching, has gone over tr just a tremendous amount of scrutiny over the past few years mm -hmm. uh, to a point where a lot of major health organizations have really kind of changed the rule book wow. when it comes to stretching. The problem is, is people stretch out cold muscles they treat they kind of treat stretching like like a warm-up mm -hmm. warm-up is not stretching warm-up is defined as light aerobic activity if you get down and you start stretching out cold muscles I still see people at the park do it yeah. you can actually do more harm to your muscles than good so kind of move around a little bit maybe some light jumping, jumping jacks, jacks yeah. get some blood flowing and then ease into stretching but if you stretch out cold muscles research is showing us that we can actually do more harm than good that's good to know it because is I know I, you, I do it you yeah know, you absolutely sit there and you stretch out you think you're doing the right absolutely. thing and I, like I said I see people at the park yeah. doing it all the time but you just got to be careful get a little blood flowing to those okay. muscles and it should help. All right, now time to answer a couple questions from our viewers. This first question um, comes from Bill. What's a good exercise to strengthen my neck and upper back? Well, I learned this from a strength coach from Illinois, and this is a great exercise to work the neck muscle, the upper trapezius muscles, and the, sh the muscles behind the shoulder joint. And this right here really works back behind here. It works a lot of the muscles a lot of people miss. You just shrug mm -hmm. up, and then you just come up like that, keeping your elbows up real high. It's an excellent exercise, not so much for cosmetic, but it's definitely something that'll that'll keep your shoulder healthy, just especially if you do it. Yeah, there. absolutely. Okay. It works a lot of the muscles that a lot of us miss um, in the gym. Thank you, Kyle. Okay. Appreciate it. All right, the next question's from Sarah. Is there an exercise that targets the inner thighs? Absolutely. I want to know this. Beth, come on out <laughs> here. She's going to love this exercise. It looks so cool when you do it. Basically, you start off with what I like to call ballet squat. And basically, your toes are pointed out, and then you can kind of do what they call kind of a sumo dance with it, where you're just walking forward keeping out like that kind of squatting in deep <laughs> and then you kind of come and you go backwards and I guarantee it looks a little goofy but you'll really hey, feel it in your you really feel it in your in your inner thighs and it'll work in your butt too so hey that's, that's the perfect exercise right absolutely, there absolutely. all right thank you Wes if you have a question that you would like Wes to answer just go to the weekend morning section of our website kjrh.com click on the habitual health link or you can give Wes a call. His number is 749-0960 or visit his gym. It's on 46th, just east of Sheridan.